Hi, I'm Conrad Fisher, and this is Routine Miracles. And we're here to discuss oncology, cancer medicine. And we are here with Dr. William Solomon, who is a professor of medicine at SUNY Downstate Medical Center. I have had the most exciting discussion with you about advances in oncology and where we're doing well. I think it's really one of the most exciting times to be a medical oncologist uh, because we're bearing the fruits of 25 years of research into oncogenes and how tumors grow, and finally we're able to take the basic research in the laboratory and translate that directly into targeted therapy for patients and for many, many different tumors. We're now capable of not only looking at it under the microscope, but by dissecting the tumor using computer models, actually design a medicine that literally fits into the place where normally ATP would fit in. This medicine, Gleevec, fits in instead of ATP and shuts off the activity of that protein. Chronic myelitis leukemia literally goes away. We eliminate, not only just suppress, but eliminate the clones of cells that have the Philadelphia chromosome. And patients are now cured. You know, I very rarely hear an oncologist use that word cured. Well, I want to use that word. I think in this case, there's a cure. I think take another leukemia, acute promyelocytic leukemia. 25 years ago, patients would literally bleed to death because not only did the leukemia replace their bone marrow and wipe out their platelet production, but the leukemic cells themselves produced substances that activated the clotting system and patients basically bled to death. Um, that disease now is probably cured in 90% of patients. Another area that's of, of, of great significance, which is the use of targeted antibodies. And one of the great discoveries of the past 10 years was the fact that about one-third of all uh, breast cancer patients have overexpression of a gene that codes for a protein called her 2 nu this is a protein that's also on the surface of breast cancer cells, and an antibody called Herceptin, which targets that specific protein, kills breast cancer cells that have the HER2 nu on their surface. And it's been shown now not only in patients who have metastatic breast cancer that it can shrink those tumors down, but in the most important advance in oncology, the concept of adjuvant therapy for patients who have had their tumor completely removed, we still know that there might still be some microscopic, microscopic cells. And again, mentioned that we can now probe cancer cells for different targets by looking at the expression of various genes, by looking at the expression of various And why does, that, why does that help? Because we can make medicine now more personalized, that we really are entering the era that each patient's cancer will be studied and come up with the most efficacious plan to treat that cancer. What's rituximab? Rituximab, again, a very interesting advance in our understanding of uh, the treatment of lymphomas. Lymphomas express a protein called CD20, but the amazing thing is that we've made an antibody against CD20. We have special antibodies that zero in and just target that protein on lymphoma cells. I could tell you many, many more stories um, because there are many other areas where targets are being discovered, but I'll say that the best is yet to come. Cancer will become now a disease that at most will be a chronic nuisance to patients, but not a disease that they will die from. The idea that something is coming is that people live by their hope. I'm going to make a plug here for the fact that more and more patients should really participate in clinical trials for uh, cancer therapies. Two percent of patients actually enter a clinical trial to help our understanding and help their cancers get better. Thank you very much, Bill. I so appreciate it.